Hi everyone, I am Carrie Little, your host of Coffee with Carrie every Friday on Instagram, typically at 9 a.m. I am also the blogger for smartgirlmedia.com and I am the broker owner, designated managing broker, co-owner of Caremark Realty Group. And today I wanted to talk to you about competing in this marketplace. Got my notes? Maybe, maybe you can see them, maybe, maybe. So <clears throat> competing in this market, as a real estate agent. Number one, I need you to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Number two, I need you to go to Instagram, follow Carrie, J-O Little, Carrie, C-A-R-R-I-E, Joe Little, and follow me because I give you tips all the time. All right, so competing in this market. So let me tell you a story. So most of you know, I have real estate agents in the office. I think we're up to about 32. You know, we, you know, it's that we fluctuate between 30 and 40 real estate agents and just put a house on the market. And most of you know, I help out my husband, Mark. So I am on team little, the little team. I think you get it. And I can't even tell you, I was like, the offers you get, the, the number of showings you get, I can see why a seller would be overwhelmed. But as of today, there are 1.6 million real estate agents. I'm sorry, 1.6 million Realtor members. This doesn't include those that are licensees that are not members. And it is all, it is eight in the morning and already started receiving showing requests. So easily this property could get 50 showings. So in order to compete in this market, here's what I want you to do. I want you to grab a pen. I want you to grab a notepad. You can pause this and hit the replay or you can just come back. Number one, it is up to you to create your own schedule. It's up to you. I'm still trying to figure out where I should look, but we're gonna, I'm gonna look at myself. So you need to create your own schedule. So if you're part-time, dual career, some of the time, full-time, you need to be the person that creates your own schedule. So get out of calendar, get out of calendar. You can go, go traditional, you can go traditional and you could get out your calendar. Now this is a content calendar, but you could literally get out a real calendar. So this is a marketing calendar for social media. You can get out a Google calendar. You can get out your mobile device. You need something. You could use set more. You could use Calendly, Calendly or you can use, you know, Microsoft Word. So you need to create your own schedule. And then I'm going to say, and I'm looking at a calendar. If you know every weekend you go to the nail salon, the hair salon, the barber shop, Thursdays, whatever. For my husband, it's on Thursdays. Block that time. You need to create your own calendar. Number two, you are the boss. You're the boss, but you're also the administrative assistant. You're the marketer. You're the lead generator. You're the closer. You get to do everything, especially as a new agent that doesn't have a team yet. Now, you might work for a brokerage that gives you assistance, and that's great. But you have to understand that you are putting on the hat of the boss. I was looking. I sometimes I have a hat. So when I tell you this, you need. It's just if you had a real job, someone is giving you your job every single day, right? They are giving you what you need to do unless you're the boss. As the boss, you need to give yourself work. So you need to show up every day with your calendar and you need to stick to your calendar. Kind of. Depends on who you are. Number three, so you're going to create a calendar and I said stick to it. And if you don't stick to it, just come back to it. So when I say create your own calendar on Mondays, what do you want to do on Monday? Do it. For me, it's market update Monday. I could say that on Mondays, you're going to do the follow-up. I like follow-up Friday because everybody's happy. Follow-up is great. So pick a day when you're going to do your work. Now you need to lead generate every single day. So number, um, so in my number three, because I'm going to say lead generate again, I want you to know that you need to be the person that manages your own schedule. That's up to you. You need to do this. And if you get off track, because I get off track all the time, you need to come back to it. And it's okay. Give yourself grace. Don't beat yourself up. If you didn't get the checklist done, it's okay. Just come back to it. Number four, be willing to adjust. So let's just say that you know, let's say I'm looking at my calendar, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, you're going to post on social media, but you miss a day. It's okay. It's okay. Come back to it. You know that if you're using Facebook's Creator Studio, you can schedule out all of your marketing. Maybe Maybe as a new agent, if you're dual career, you're going to use every Sunday, maybe after church, maybe before church, maybe you don't go to church, you got all day Sunday before the football game, before any game, you're going to do all of your social media marketing and schedule it because in Creator Studio, you can post to Instagram, kind of cool, and Facebook. 
not your personal page, but Facebook business and Instagram. Um, so again, number four, be willing to adjust. Be willing to adjust. Number five, if you don't know, ask. I don't care if you're a new agent, a seasoned agent, coming back to the business agent, ask. If you don't know, ask. You know, I could say Google it, but sometimes you need to ask because in my market, what I mean by ask, if you're a new real estate agent, you cannot go show property. Um, you cannot open the door of a home unless you have an appointment. It could be go and show, it could be, but you need to make an appointment. You can't go in unless it's confirmed. Otherwise it's a violation. And dare I tell you how much you're going to pay. No questions asked. And number six, lead generate daily. Maybe. And let me give you the perfect scenario. When I say lead generate daily, let's just say we're going after cancels and expires. There's a cancel and expire almost every single day. Maybe not in your city, but every single day. So let's say you are going to, oh, put it on, uh, moved it. You're going to grab your handwritten note card, right? And you're going to say, dear Mr. and Mrs. Seller, or dear seller, I see your home is no longer being actively marketed. When you decide to interview new agents, I want to be considered. Maybe you're going to do that every day for cancels and expires, that is a daily routine. Maybe you're going to do one. Maybe you're going to do two. Maybe you're going to skip a day because there were none. That, is, that could be a part of your daily routine. In addition to that, when you start to get business, so number two, you're the boss, you're the marketer, you're getting everything, you're the transaction coordinator, and you start to get business, we get busy getting into the weeds of doing real estate, and then we forget to lead generate. Lead generation is the foundation of who you are. So you must always lead generate. So again, it could be every single day. You could pick a day. There's some agents that I've worked with there. They cold call. Don't make me. Don't make me do it. But it still works. Cold call Monday through Friday from 9 to 11. Schedule appointments between 2 and 3 and 5 and 6. That's how they do their business. Every Saturday, this person goes to the nail salon. It works. Everything works. And if you, if you write it down, you're more likely to do it. So write the vision, make it plain, and you'll stick to it. So I want to say to all of you, let's get busy lead generating. Let's get busy creating our schedules. I'm Carrie Little. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe and join me on Instagram. And if you haven't followed me on my podcast, I have a podcast as well. Thank you so much. Let's get busy.